One of my favorite features in Surecart is the customer dashboard experience. It's actually something I haven't been able to replicate using any other tool where all of my customer's data and a lot of different features can be available to them right within my WordPress site. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take the Surecart customer dashboard experience and place it inside of Thrive Suite. Now, whether that's Thrive Apprentice, where you're selling courses or memberships, and this is going to be a dashboard place where users can come and manage their account, or maybe you're selling other services such as coaching packages or digital downloads or things like that. I'm going to show you how easy it is to implement this right inside of Thrive to make it look like it's seamlessly part of your website. So what you've been looking at here is actually my customer dashboard for my Thrive Apprentice site. And actually this is going to serve a dual purpose because I'm also going to be selling downloads. In fact, if you like the way that any of this looks, any of the stuff that you're seeing in this video, chances are I have it for sale as a Thrive design pack that you can purchase, install on your site and have it look essentially just like mine. So let's take a quick little walkthrough of my customer dashboard and then I'll show you how to implement it for yourself. There's also a section under my orders for their subscriptions. If they had an active subscription, it would be here. They have the ability to manage their subscription, whether they want to cancel it, upgrade it, and have it be prorated or downgraded as well. I think that's really handy. And then there's a payment section. I've also added a my download section. This is great because what you can do is offer zip files or things like that, maybe PDFs, whatever you want to sell digitally. I guess in my case, I'm selling design packs. I'm going to upload my design pack directly uh, into Surecart and right here it's going to be available to download if somebody purchased it and what's really nice about this is there's no manually adding things to a page there's no making sure that people have the right access to files if they purchase the file through shortcut it's automatically added here and you can revoke access and things like that it's it's really neat to manage there's also an account details page and what i like about this is that they can come into their account and they can edit billing details if they need to they can also edit account details things like changing their password and things like that Although you can technically do this inside of Thrive Architect with a profile element, I feel like having it all encompassed in a user profile like this uh, just feels like a better experience than having to create another page. Now, something not unique to Surecart by any means, uh, I had a support section on my website. In fact, actually right here on the left-hand side, you can see I have a technical support option uh, in the navigation. I'm actually going to get rid of that because I'm going to lump it under their customer dashboard here. I'll probably still leave the link down there and then just link directly to this tab uh, in, the, in the user dashboard or customer dashboard. But I added a support tab and inside of it, I actually just dropped in a Fluent CRM form. So if someone has a technical support question, they can just come right in here, click support and fill out the form. And of course there's other ways they can contact me, but I just thought adding a support form here could head off some problems if somebody was in their account and in the moment had a question. And that's really easy to do. And if you're a Fluent, uh, Fluent Forms or Fluent CRM user, I'll show you how to make that happen. And lastly, I have an archived order section that I added to my customer dashboard. And I did this because I'm migrating from another e-commerce solution. In fact, as I'm giving Surecart a try, I still want to be able to serve my customers who purchased things from me through Thrivecart. Thrivecart's still an amazing solution. Uh, however, their customer hub is hosted on Thrivecart servers. It's hosted on another URL. So in order for customers who maybe purchased from me in the past, in order for them to access the customer hub, I want them to come just to archived orders. And I made a message here that just says, if you purchased before this date, your receipts and subscriptions are uh, in the older customer hub and you can access that by clicking the button below and that just takes them to the Thrivecart hub. Okay, so that's my dashboard. Now let me show you how I made this. So we're gonna do two things. First, we're going to look at how to actually make the dashboard in Surecart. And then we're going to look at how to implement this into Thrive. And there's a couple uh, important nuances to how I set mine up to make it look this way, uh, as well as how to get this to work really well with Thrive. Once you have Surecart installed, you're going to have a page that it creates for you. And it's going to have this little customer dashboard, uh, like I call it a flag, but it's kind of just like a little marking on the page that Surecart has designated your customer dashboard page. And it's my understanding that this is the page you need to use. Uh, in fact, don't delete this page. I actually don't even know what happens if you do. Uh, but essentially, this is the page you want to use. So that introduces a couple interesting maybe things to think about, right? Because if this is the page we have to use, then we have to make sure that this page is the one that gets a template applied to it for things like Thrive Theme Builder. We'll show you how to do that. But first, let's click, hover over it and click the edit button. 
here we are. We're in the back end of WordPress, right? It's a scary place. I know I try to avoid it myself, but Surecart is basically edited using what's called the the block editor, the block builder. It's WordPress's answer to a page builder. I, I personally don't like the block builder, but I think that Surecart has done a few things to make this experience pretty painless. And I've got a couple tips to make it easy for you. So right off the bat, what I like about this presentation is they've pre-filled it with demo data. It helps you kind of get an idea for what it's going to look like. For example, there's that order history section and subscriptions and payment methods. If I click my downloads, uh, look, here's an example of what the downloads would look like, account details, support, and, and so on. Now, one of the things that I like to do when using the block builder is I like to go up here on yours, it's probably also where mine is to the left of the Launch Thrive Architect button. There's these three lines, and if you hover over it, it says List View. Go ahead and click on that. And now you're going to see kind of on the left-hand side, this panel shifted out. And if you drop down the customer dashboard, you can see that they've kind of given you this hierarchy of blocks or elements within the builder that you can expand out. And as you hover over them, you can quickly see what it is you're editing. I feel like this is the best way to edit things in Surecart, whether it's this dashboard or forms, which we'll go over in another video. So if I wanted to make edits, let's say to the dashboard tabs, all I would have to do is here, click on the dashboard tabs. And if there were options, they'd be on the right side. Now, as I hover down over these options, I can click on the first one, which is my orders. And on the right hand side, so think of the right hand side as the contextual editing. If you've selected the element on the left, I know I'm probably mirrored for you, but if you've selected the element on the left hand side, on the right hand side is where you'll be contextually making edits to what you've selected. So in this case, we can change the icon by clicking on the icon and we can build out these different sections. And if you want to add more sections, pretty intuitive, you can just click this plus button on the bottom and it will add a new tab and then make sure you select the tab in order to edit it. And you'll see on the right hand side under attributes, we can change this. We'll just call this one our demo tab. And I can change my icon to something else. And there I go, I've added a new tab into my member dashboard. And moving it up to another position is pretty easy. You can either drag and drop or click these little arrows. I like to use the arrows myself. So click, click, and I can move it around and position it. So let's go ahead and move our demo tab to the top. And on the right hand side here, there's a little plus sign. And if you hover over it, it says add block. We can click on that. And here comes the WordPress block editor. I'm not, like I said, not a huge fan, but I like to click browse all. And then on the left hand side, you'll see there's sure cart elements. I've had some issues if I try to drop other elements into this, it doesn't really play nice with what Surecart's built. Uh, so I try to stick just to the Surecart elements themselves. Now by default, Surecart gave you a dashboard that has just about everything that you want on it. But if you're like me and you have a My Orders tab and a My Downloads tab, I actually moved the Downloads section into its own tab. So let's pretend that our Demo tab was our Downloads tab. On the left hand side here, I'm going to find customer downloads and I'm just going to click on it and it drops it right into the first available spot within this tab. And it's pretty easy. You can see it literally brought over everything. Now, as I click on this block, let's open up our little list view again. But as I click on the block, you can see I can make some changes to areas that can be changed. The data below the word downloads, that's dynamic. That's actually being pulled from Surecart's servers itself. And this might be a good time to mention that Surecart is what's called a headless plugin or headless solution. Basically the data is stored, most of the data, right, is stored over on Surecart servers and it's being shown here in WordPress on your website. But Surecart's doing all of the heavy lifting. None of the downloads are even hosted on your site. They're hosted securely on Surecart. So using this method, we're basically able to reference dynamic data from another server, have it look like it's appeared on our website with practically no delay, and we can make edits around that dynamic data in order to make it render. It's a pretty cool solution. So you can click the plus sign if you want to add more blocks. Again, let's say you wanted to add a paragraph, you just click on it, you add some text. Pretty easy, it's, it's somewhat intuitive, as intuitive as this thing's probably going to be using the block editor, uh, but that's how you edit sections. Now, the one section I did make some customizations to was the support tab. All I did was add a header block, a paragraph block, and then I added a short code block. 
This is where you want to basically copy the short code that Fluent Forms gives you if you want to make it like mine, and then just drop the uh, short code for Fluent Forms directly into that box, and it will render pretty much perfectly. Okay, so with your dashboard how you like it, I'm going to refresh mine to get rid of these changes that I made. But once you have your dashboard how you like it, it's time to put it onto your website. Now, by default, like I said, Surecart created a page and you can go to that page and it will be there, but it's going to use your default page template. And if your website is like mine, your default page template may look a little different from the experience that you want your customers to have. For example, I have a member dashboard. By default, this is where all of my students and customers arrive to see the things that they've purchased, access their courses, and, and other things. Now, let's take a look at what this would look like if it used my theme's default page. Uh, here it is, full width. There's no margin at all between my header and the content on this page, and, and it's just a blank page. I mean, I guess this looks okay. I could go add some margin on the top, etc. but I want this to be wrapped within the experience that I've created using Thrive Theme Builder and Thrive Apprentice. I want this to look cohesive with the rest of my site and not necessarily like I've just installed some plugin and it looks janky. So to do that, we're going to jump back into the back end of WordPress. We're going to go into our customer dashboard page and on the right hand side, I'm gonna scroll down. Yours might be positioned differently because WordPress lets you drag and drop these things wherever, uh, but in here, if you're using Thrive Theme Builder like I am, you're going to find a section that says Theme Builder Templates. And under Template, if I drop this down, I'm currently by default using, well, default. I want to change this to what I've created, and I've created Dashboard 3.0. That's just what I call the dashboard on my site. Now, if I click on this right here, it's going to now use the template that I've created for it, which is the one I showed you at the beginning of the video. And also, if you're interested, I'll link somewhere in the description or, or a video card here, the video that I actually created showing you how to make Dashboard 3.0. And I've got design packs for it, and that's included in Convology Pro as well. Okay, but you know, how do I make a custom template? Well, let's quickly jump into Thrive Theme Builder. Let me show you how to make a template so that you can choose that template right here. All right, so we're in Thrive Theme Builder. I'm going to go to the Templates tab, and the Templates tab here is gonna load up all the templates that I created for my site. You might've made these as part of the wizard setup. And by default, we're shown our core templates. Your core templates are your default ones, right? And if we look for it, see here it is, my default uh, page, there it is. The default page is kind of blank with no margin. So instead of using that default, I want to go to core templates up here, this like uh, slate colored button, click on that. And I want to go to my custom post templates page. Here you can see there's different templates. Um, I have default blank page, and here's my dashboard 3.0. So if you don't have any other templates, let's just say you have your default page. If you click these three dots, you can duplicate this template, and then you can make a bunch of edits. In fact, that's what I've done on my dashboard 3.0. Again, there's a video that shows how I made that, but I will make sure that I've created another template, given it a name that I can recognize, and then go back into the back end of WordPress and the page editor and select that template. And it's really easy to make those edits. But, but let me show you in my template one important feature. If I jump in here and I start editing my template, I want to show you that right here where it says post content, and again, it's WordPress, so it's going to use the word post. But if you notice this post content section, this is what we want to make sure is placed wherever we want our dashboard to appear, our customer dashboard that we just made for Surecart. It's going to appear wherever this section is. And you can click on it and you can click this little upper right hand corner thing and you can drag this wherever you want it to go. And, and in my case, I want it to be right here inside of this content box, which I've put in the right hand column within a full width section. So once you have this all placed and everything ready to go, save your template and return here to the editor and make sure you go to theme builder templates and choose the template that you want to use. So here we go. We're back and I've got my template using my dashboard 3.0. It's placed right where that content section was, as I showed uh, in the template. And it's got this nice sidebar on the left and it's got a custom header for it. And, and I think that looks pretty good. All right, so that's how you implement the Surecart customer dashboard inside of Thrive Suite. It's really easy to do. As you saw, I just created a theme builder template, assigned it to the page that's used for the customer dashboard, 
And then I went into the block builder and I customized the dashboard to suit my particular needs. And again, you can use this for Thrive Apprentice. And I've got a whole bunch of videos coming out about that. And if they're already out when you're watching this, look for my Surecart playlist. They'll be in there. And you can also use this for things like digital downloads. Even if you don't have courses and a membership, let's say you sell something else, this is a fantastic way to manage your sales and orders and downloads for your customers. And it looks and behaves cohesive with the rest of your site. If you have any questions about Surecart or this particular implementation, feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video.